Welcome back to Chibi Robo, everybody. So, if memory serves, we're back at night time again. Last time we rescued Dad's wedding ring, so that was pretty exciting. We got to explore the drain. Not sure what we're going to be doing this time. I believe I bought both the hot rod and the space scrambler, so that's pretty good. All right, nothing from the shop. Still don't have enough scrap to do much with that. But right now, the Giga battery has about 4,000 kilowatts charged. Do you want to charge it? Yes, please. We've made a lot of money from all the chibi doors. Oh, 1,000 kilowatts equals 1,000 moolah. How many kilowatts will you charge? Well, we can charge 3,000 more. We'll give it 3,000 kilowatts. Something about it looked a little suspicious, but as long as you think it'll be okay. Oh well, never mind. The Giga battery has charged 7,000 kilowatts. Stop throwing fireworks in celebration. At this point, he's not even apologizing for doing it anymore. He's just like, <laughs> Jimmy Rubble will pick him up. No problem. I mean, I do get happy points in Muah for throwing them in the trash can, so maybe he's just kind of trying to rig it for me to become Super Chibi Rubble first. That's my guess. Alrighty. So there's one chibi door that we're missing in here. I wonder if it's an invisible one. Oh, that's right. This is a weird side quest. So, the chibi, in the living room, the chibi radar will alert you that there's something hidden in the ground if we use the spoon on it. This weirdo appears. Sound! 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 Sound makes me grow! Let me hear sound! Spoon! Give me spoon! Yeah, this guy's really weird. He'll gradually, he'll quickly shrink, but if you keep pressing A with a spoon, he'll grow bigger. This guy's really weird! Also, he, how big is he gonna get? Is he gonna become the same size as Jenny? Because this is gonna be very, very weird. Okay, not quite. Full! Full! I am full! Stop shaking your underwear like that. That is weird. Thank you! Thank you for sound! Mr. Prawns just gave you 76 happy points! Spread the happiness! And he just vaporizes. What in the- That guy had a plug for a head! That's what you noticed? I was more concerned about the weird underwear he was wearing. You saw that too, right? Oh! Well, I suppose he needs a name or something. Maybe we can call him Mr. Prawns. Okay, I'm totally creeped out right now. Oh! You got the Mr. Prawn sticker! You really are amazing, Chibi Robo. <laughs> to quote Cusco from the Embers of Group, okay, that was the freakiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> that, that literally, he makes no sense. I'm not sure if he's a reference to another game of some kind, but like, he's literally just an invisible man living in the floor who grows big when you make sounds of your spoon, grows so big, wears underwear, and then just vaporizes before, and then gives you his, his sticker. In that order. Yeah, best not to think too hard about that one. That's, that's weird. That's weird. I believe there's a chibi door partway up the stairs that we can reach now. We could have reached it before, but I didn't want to risk uh, it with my low battery. But now I've got battery coming out of the wazoo, so it's okay. Yeah, chibi door up there on that shelf. I suppose we could also do more in Mom and Dad's bedroom. We haven't returned there since the mom locked her in her, her room. Blunk. Burn bucks, not 
bad. Oh, we're still missing five doors. Alright, well, hey, let's go to the kitchen. We'll see if the great Pico is there. He's not in the fish tank. The great Pico needs to be in the fish tank. No, he's not anywhere around. Lame. Oh, I, I think I'll get the last two chibi doors in here while I'm in here. Now that we got the chibi radar, we can climb up to the top of the house, and there's some there's two more chibi doors I believe hidden up here. No, not hidden up here. There are no more hidden chibi doors. Okay, so there's one all the way over there. Alright, well there's at least one we can get. Alright, we already opened that one. Yeah, one of the loaded chibi doors with all the money in it. Alrighty, where's that last chibi door? You know what, we'll come back and get the last one later on in the Let's Play. In the meantime, we really should be getting back to the upstairs and explore Mom's bedroom some more. We do have the bridge utilibot up there now. We can also try this out again, yeah. How about a little game of chicken? Sure, let's try this again. <laughs> Elena stops closest to the edge, wins! Press B to slam on the brakes. I also love how your plug is just going flying when you... <laughs> Do this. Oh! <laughs> now we have to dodge the dad who's in the sleeping bag. I forgot about that. Now! Oh! Just too late. Rock and roll, man! Burn the candle at both ends! Woo! Take this, you crazy, crazy robot! You got 50 more! How about a little game of chicken? Yeah, I love how they strategically make the race so that you will always dodge the dad, whether he's in the sleeping bag or not. Not something you really notice if he's not there, but when he, when he is there, it's great. <laughs> That's weird. I had a dream that Chibi Robo was racing a car right next to me, and then he flew off the edge. Too early. Not terrible, but pretty close. Hmm, let's see how you did see. D, even worse than I thought. It doesn't even give me anything for that. I should have just driven off the cliff. This is one of the toughest uh, stickers to get, I would say. <laughs> Robinus, Robinus, Robinus. <laughs> It's so precise, it's like almost frame perfect when you have to do it. And you can't even just do it over and over again, you can only do it three times per uh, cycle.
Now! Ooh, that's gotta be really close. You're insane! I think you just blew my mind! You're totally fearless! Oh, this is an S rank. The thing is, just give you 33 happy points. Spread the happiness. Hmm. Let's see how you did. S. Oh! You got the chicken race sticker! You really are amazing, Cheapy Robo. That was just too crazy! I'm done! Alright. I did not expect to get that this night. Holy cow. But yeah, we now have the chicken race sticker, which is one of like the three hardest stickers to get in the game, I would say. And that was one of the first ones we got. That's great. Most of the stickers are just kind of time consuming. That one is actually legitimately difficult. Oh, the mom, oh no. The mom fell asleep on her chair. From all the sewing, or was she just engrossed in a book or something? No, thank you. I can't eat anymore. Oh, okay. Hey, yo, Funky Phil, are you still up here? I believe I see him. There he is! How's my favorite talking toy flower? Yeah! Are you funky? I said, are you funky? Yeah, you know I am. Woo, yeah! Funky Phil just gave you six happy points for saying yes. Spread the happy goodness. Toys, robots, people, animals. Unleash your inner funk beast! Okay. I need some funky sweat. Hey dude, this is your sweat. I don't know how toys sweat though. Yeah, that's what I need! It's smooth! I just squirted his own sweat back on him. That would be terrible. Funky Phil gave you five happy points because he loves his sweat that much. Spread the happiness! <laughs> Spread the sweat! <laughs> Can I not? been up here yet. But yeah, you can get up to this part of the bedroom. Get a nice view of the backyard. This is a nice little flower pointer that they got going. We also have the funky seed. Let's try planting that. We got this a while ago. I found it! A funky fill seed! Squirt it with funky sweat and it'll sprout! Pop, pop! Cute little funky fills will be popping up all over the place! Little funky fills? Fillies? Hooey! They sound plum adorable! Adorable as can be! Little fillies! Can you think of anything cuter? You can't, can ya? I'd plant a funky seed myself, but... I don't got the energy to carry him. I need to go to the nuclear flower plant! I love you, Dinah. <laughs> no way! If I plant it and it starts falling over, they call it the Leaning Flower of Misa! Which of those is funnier? What should I do? Simple jokes are the best. Get too fancy on folks, and you lose them. That's true. Oh! It's time for that suspenseful show I like! Darn corny shows! I eat them up like popcorn! Betcha somebody falls off a cliff again. 
Unintentional comedy at its best. <laughs> I know that's probably a terrible Dino voice. I just try to replicate the characters like Nanny's man up Let's spray the funky sweat on the flower. Funky. Well, this is weird. <laughs> They're toys, but yet they grow. Is this like a Tamagotchi? Philly. And I don't mean a cheesesteak. I love that little sound I make when you pluck them. Interesting. Oh, I know where that would be. I don't think I can reach here, but... Oh, I can! Nice! Booyah! Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! Ooh, got that cash! We can almost fill up the Giga Battery entirely now. There are literally just four doors left, and they are all up there. <laughs> That's fantastic! Funky Phil. Whoa now, Funky Robo! What's got you feeling so unfunky? Well, this just happened, which is kind of weird. Go, Pappy, dance! Go, Pappy, dance! Ha, what? Who that? Go, Pappy, dance! Go, Pappy, dance! <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> you don't know? What are you talking about? You're the one who brought him here! Go, Pappy Dance! Go, Pappy Dance! I'm not your old man, funky little dudes! Go, Pappy Dance! Go, Pappy Dance! Come on now! I'm not your daddy! Go, Pappy Dance! Go, Pappy Dance! Alright, that's enough! For the last time, I am not your Pappy! Oh, they're so sad now. <laughs> oh, Chibi Robo's screw eyes. <laughs> he ha he makes those eyes when he says to screw you. No, that's not okay. What? I'm not their pappy. Funky Phil isn't even married. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? All right, how about this? I ain't your daddy, but I'll show y'all how to funk like a villain. Go, Pappy Dance! Go, Pappy Dance! What? Funky Robo, get on down to the living room and bring me the drink Red Crest Wax. That's the perfect tune for a group this big. I ain't your pappy! Anyway, I'm counting on you! They... Man alive, they're adorable! Cuter and all get out! They look just like Funky Phil! Just look at the little varmints! They're too darling for words! Here I come!
Yes, this is exactly what we need. We need Dinah to come over. Oh, I forgot about you! <laughs> What's with her music? Her theme song is very odd. Oh, it's Chibi Robo! See you later! Are you here because Drake Redcrest is upstairs? She totally is, isn't she? Alright, fine. Oh my gosh, the dad is such a slob! Oh wait, she's- Sophie's actually moving on the ground. Like, she's actually going the distance, like Hercules said. Hey, wait up, Chew Toy! Where are you going? Is something wrong with Mrs. Sanderson? She hasn't been in the kitchen lately. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, you weren't here for all that. Um, she's been better. That's right, the TV radar doesn't work in the living room too well because it always alerts you where the, uh, to where the TV is. And it's like, I can't do anything with that. Anyhow. Funky Phil wants us to get the Drake Redcrest CD. It's up here. But it doesn't actually appear until after he asks you to get it. Convenient, that. Here it is. Drake Redcrest album. How big is this guy that he has his own, like, band, and album, and TV show, and merchandise line? Or maybe he's just a toy made by Disney. Shots fired, Disney. Disney's all about that merchandise. You can't tell me they're not. You go to Disney World and it's Mickey Mouse this, Stitch that. <laughs> and they definitely create characters just to sell merchandise. How else do you explain Duffy the Disney Bear? You can't. Duffy the Disney Bear is really stupid. I actually think Duffy the Disney Bear is no longer a fame. Thank goodness for that. They had to get rid of him to make way for all the new Star Wars merchandise. <laughs> oh, she's playing with the fillies up here. That's really cute, actually. Hey, Dinah. Talk to me, girl. They're cuter in a robot in PJs. They're so Dane adorable. Look at them dance. They're really doing their darndest. Cuter than a robot in PJs? <laughs> Are you sure about that, Dinah? <laughs> you still think so? Aw, ain't you cute? You getting ready to head into the bunkhouse for some shut-eye? Thank you, Dinah. I appreciate it. Hey, what's up? Yeah, yeah! Yo, Funky Robo! Did you find the Drake Redcrest wax? Yeah, he had a lot of it. He doesn't clean his ears regularly. I have to go over here to show it to you, though. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! You're the funkiest Funky Robo! Funky Phil just gave you 16 happy points. Dinah just gave you 20 free happy points. You got $50. Spread the happiness. No time to waste. Let's dance! Dance, dance! Go on, boot scoot! Dance, you funky tumbleweeds! Yeehaw! Oh yeah! Drake Redcrest forever!
That's a pretty awesome theme song, if I do say so. Yeah, Drake Redcrest has his own theme song with lyrics. Is that what he's actually supposed to sound like? Or is that just like the announcer doing his theme song? He probably doesn't sing his own theme song. From the, from the lyrics, it seems like they're talking about him in the third person, so... Probably not him seeing it. That's a catchy song, though. I can understand why the dad likes the TV show. <laughs> also, how did the mom not wake up from that? It's like, let's, let's play the Drake Redcrest theme song at max volume <laughs> right in front of the mom who's sleeping. It's like, she's just like, oh, the dad's watching that on YouTube and he's sleeping back out there. I'll just ignore it. Yeehaw, ride him, funky. Look at him, tiny fellers go. The little sprouts can dance. And he dropped another seed. Get down and freaky, little dudes! That was a funky good start! Thanks, Funky Robo! Funky Phil just gave you 35 happy points! You got $100! Spread the happiness! They're cuter in armadillos and tutus! That wouldn't be that cute. I want to do something nice for these little sprouts. Isn't there anything I can do? Ice cream. Kids love ice cream. Isn't there anything I can do? Isn't there anything I can do? <laughs> Isn't there anything Yucko can't do? <laughs> I got it! I just thought of something good. Lard on a stick. They'll love it. I'll take y'all out under the big blue sky. Adios, partner. It's practice time, baby! Go, Pappy, dance! Go, Pappy, dance! Is that like every time he dances, he drops one of these seeds? Because that's like equal parts cool and also kind of weird. GB Robo! I, Dinah! I was flying to the flower box! Ouch. Over here, over here! Can you spare a few minutes for old Dinah Dinosaur? Come here, will ya? Oh, I'll spare a few minutes for you, Dinah. I like you. We get it. The purple Lego block. They couldn't put Lego in it, though. Alright, Dinah, I'm coming. Shortcut. Thank goodness I opened that earlier. I like the way she sits. It's cute. I got a favor to ask you, Chibi Robo. You remember that block I threw over yonder? Yeah, that happened literally two seconds ago. I thought you might. You're as smart as a whip, and you got eyes like a paranoid prairie dog to boot. Anyway, I need blocks. If you find any, bring them over to me. Yes, ma'am. That's a good boy. I'm fond of kids who give good answers. Tiger just gave you six happy points. Yeah, you got one. Move on. Spread the happiness. It sounds like he's gargling everything he says. So did you bring me any blocks, Chibi Robo? Well, there's the one you threw at me for one. What you got? Show it to me. So it was the purple block that you threw at me. That's it. That's it. Hurry up and hand it over. Yellow, or that's the white block we found on the roof. Green block I think we found in Jenny's room. Red block we found in the foyer. Sarge was standing on it. Dinah just gave you 132 happy points. You got four Moa, one for each block. Spread the happiness. What's it with Japan making like old folks who just give you like one coin? First Koopa Koot, now Dinah. Thanks, amigo. I only need two more. That's the, there's the yellow block and the blue block. Those are tricky to get. Anyhow, what I was trying to do before Dinah threw me off my groove, I was trying to grow the next Funky Phil seed, but we actually might not have time for that. I hope we do. Oh, well, you know, the, the last sliver of the day always lasts the longest, so maybe we actually will have enough time. So much for going to Jenny's room, but we found something better to do. Oh 
Oh wow, the ten mulad grew back. I did pick up the seed. Good. I did. I'm a, I did pick up the funky seed, right? <laughs> I just realized this is basically like I'm creating life. Fine, guy. <laughs> That's the factory reject. So we get two more fillies and then this um, red flower who is a bit different. He is Freaky Phil. Not really interested in being funky. He's interested in being freaky. I don't know, dude. I mean, being funky is cool. Being freaky, uh, it's gonna be hard to make friends. Sad fact of life. Uh, uh, Come on, don't run out of time yet. Just last till I can give Funky Phil... No! I'm gonna run out of time right before I can give Funky Phil his new kids! <laughs> Chiru, I know you're literally seconds away from doing something, but I think we need to call it a day. I'm proud of the work we've done. Now I just have Freaky Phil hanging out in my inventory. He's gonna be bothering me. He's gonna be, hey, is this the pit stuck? <laughs> Come on. I don't know if you know what he sounds like. Oh, good morning. Hey, your achievement ranking's still seven. In order to get the next bonus battery, you'll need 159 more happy points. Well, I agree, Chibi Robo. Would you like to say? Yep. That's gonna do it for this episode of Chibi Robo, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. Well, it's daytime now. So got to think about this. Dad might be in the backyard. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, worst case scenario, uh, mom's going to be awake so we can't continue the Funky Phil cycle until night. Maybe we'll be going back to Jenny's room. And yeah, maybe we'll be going back to Jenny's room and trying to fin finally finish the castle side quest. Look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.